Thanks for stopping by the channel. Thanks for all the new subscriptions and the likes. I appreciate you guys a lot. This will be the one month review of the razor blade 14 inch 3060 2021 gaming laptop. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the hardware of this laptop and do a little walk around. So right off, you have the charging port, you have a USB type A, a USB type C, and then you have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And then if we just turn the laptop around, on this side, you also have a USB type C port, USB type A, HDMI, for your, to hook up to your monitors or your TV. And then you also have what looks to be a little security um, slot where you can hook up a cable and lock your PC or your laptop up to a table or something like that so that nobody can steal it. And then just to review, let's run down some of the specs of this laptop. So on this particular one, this is the 14 inch, one terabyte solid state drive um, edition with 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's the AMD Ryzen 9 5900 HX for the CPU and it has eight cores for the processor. It's an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 series for the GPU. It does have vapor chamber cooling it, and this one has full HD 144 Hertz display and that's an IPS display. It has an IR webcam and the webcam is only 720p. I've tested it a little, it's, it's okay, but I wasn't really expecting too much anyway. It's, it's a gaming laptop. Um, I'll show you guys what I'm coming from. So I'm coming from this Surface Pro 6 and this is not a bad computer at all. It's really, agile i guess i'd say you could take it a lot of places it's like a tablet pretty much it disconnects so i guess the flexibility of this computer is what i really liked uh but compared to this razor blade 14 performance wise this surface pro 6 doesn't even stack up and this is, has an i5 in it so it's not a bad laptop slash tablet computer at all it only has eight gigabytes of RAM um, and 128 gigabytes of solid state drive, I believe. So needless to say, my storage was filling up very quickly. But compared to this razor blade with one terabyte, I have not even been able to come close to filling up the storage yet. And doing things like video editing, playing games, it's been a breeze so far. Um, the one thing I have noticed just right off is the fan noise. So if we turn this around, you'll see, looks like there's two fans here and these things definitely get loud, even with the lightest amount of gaming. I'll show you guys a, a demo of that. I like, I, I like to play grounded on this laptop and just loading it up. The fans start to kick on. So. It's not really that annoying, but that is something just to know about this laptop. So in this review, I want to just run through a couple things. I, I'll keep it brief, but I do want to do a couple performance tests, um, latency tests, test the CPU, maybe show you guys some gaming, um, real live gaming. And so you guys can see just how it overall performs. But for me, I've enjoyed this computer. But let's go ahead and get into some performance tests. Okay, guys, so let's start off with the user benchmark test. Um, I went to www.userbenchmark.com. And what this is supposed to do is it's a user benchmark um, test for your PC. And it will compare the results to other users with the same components you can quickly size up your PC, identify hardware problems and explore the best upgrades. And so essentially how it works is it's going to download and run this user benchmark and it's going to test the CPU, uh, which includes integer floating and string is going to test the GPU against 3d gaming sim simulations to see how well it does against when 3d gaming is going to do a drive test, 
RAM test, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and uh, run this test. Just gonna go in here um, to the, I downloaded it. And now once you open the download, you should see something that says, uh, welcome to user benchmark. And you just go ahead and click run. Not too sure how long this takes, but. So, so far guys, I've been really enjoying this laptop. It hasn't been laggy at all for me. I haven't really noticed any issues in my day to day. And that's been gaming, streaming, watching videos, editing videos, and so on. So it's much better for me than the last laptop that I had. It doesn't really compare too much as you guys seen in the video, but for about $1,700, that's what I expect. I think the 16 gigabytes of RAM really does help. So I haven't really noticed any issues as of yet, but we'll see what happens with this uh, user benchmark test. Looks like it's getting into the, the 3D simulation now. You guys will have to let me know in the comment section below what's your favorite gaming laptop so far. Do you guys like the Razer Blade? Uh, do you think it's worth getting the 3060 model, the 3070, the 3080? For me, it seems like the 3060 is just fine, but yeah, I guess it really depends on what you're doing. You might need a 3080 or a 3070. Okay, it looks like it's just now finishing up and let's see what we got. Close out of that. So let's scroll down and take a look at PC status. So it says overall, this PC is performing above expectations, the 71st percentile. Wow. This means that out of 100 PCs with exactly the same components, 29 perform better. The overall PC percentile is the average of each of its individual components. So according to the user benchmark, this PC is actually doing really well above expectation in the 71st percentile. So take it with a grain of salt if you will, but according to this site, this PC is doing pretty good. What about the processor? So with an outstanding single core score, the CPU is the cat's whiskers. <laughs> it demolishes everyday tasks with tasks such as web browsing, office apps, and audio slash video playback. Additionally, this processor can handle typical workstation and even moderate server workloads. Finally, with a gaming score of 95.8, the CPU sustainability for 3D gaming is excellent. So according to this, the processor is doing pretty good, 95.8 for the CPU. So. For 3D gaming, it says it should be excellent. So what about the graphics? So graphically, it looks like it might be lacking a little here. It's yellow. So it says 20.8% is a below average 3D score. RTX 2060S equals 100%. This GPU can handle older games, but it will struggle to, to render recent games at resolutions greater than 1080p. So... According to this, it can play the older 3D games, but it might struggle um, at resolutions greater than 1080p. I played Forza Horizon 5, and I'm pretty sure I was playing that at 1440p, and the, it, this computer seemed to work just fine. I didn't notice any lag or frame rates drop. So I guess it really just depends on what you're doing. So let's take a look at the memory. Mem memory is 16 gigabytes is enough RAM to run any version of Windows, and it's more than sufficient for nearly all games. 
16 gigabytes also allows very large files in system caches, software development, and batch photo editing slash processing. So according to the user benchmark, with 16 gigabytes of RAM, that should be enough for photo editing and processing. So I say all in all, this is doing pretty good. Let's scroll down a little bit. So the AMD Ryzen 9, a 5900HX, which is what this PC has, this laptop has, it's at a 95.8. And according to this benchmark, that's outstanding. So looks like the user benchmark ha is pretty good for this PC. Um, take it with wh whatever you will. Um, but according to this site, it's pretty good. So, all right, guys, let's move on to some more performance tests, maybe a latency test, and then maybe some gaming before we wrap this up just to see how, so you guys can see how it performs. All right, guys, so we're back and this is going to be the latency uh, sound test. So one of the subs requested this. Um, I don't know too much about the latency sound test, but here we go. I found one from resplendence.com and this is going to be the latency mon um, sound quality test for the razor blade gaming laptop so all i did was go to this website download latency mon um, 7.20 and then once you go through the prompts this pops up and it currently says no data is available click the start button to to start analyzing your systems so let's go ahead and do that So I guess we just wait and see what's going on. So it looks like it's been running 10 seconds down here. And it says your system is being analyzed for suitability of real time audio and other tasks. So maybe it looks like it concluded already it says conclusion. Your system seems to be having difficulty handling real time audio and other tasks. You may experience dropouts, clicks or pop pops due to buffer um, underruns. One or more DPC routines that belong to a driver running in your system appears to be executing for too long. One problem may be related to power management, disable CPU throttling settings and control panel and BIOS setup. Okay, so check for BIOS updates. So looks like according to this test, this PC is not running that well for handling real time audio. And it's saying it can experience dropouts, clicks, pops, um, and it's preferring you to disable the CPU throttling settings in the control panel and BIOS so far. So I'm probably not going to do that, at least for this testing, but if you are interested in uh, any kind of latency test, here you go. So we'll just let it run for a couple more seconds, see if anything changes, but I don't think it will. So guys, uh, from here, let's, let's just take a look at the processes. Just probably what's going on on my computer here. Doesn't look like anything too crazy. So, all right, guys. So, we checked out the latency mon test. Didn't fare too good. Take that with whatever you will. Um, I haven't noticed any issues so far with recording sound or anything like that. But if you're into somebody who does lots of audio, this may mean something to you. So let's go ahead and do some game performance and then conclude this uh, All right, review. Guys, so I got Forza Horizon 5 loaded up. And we're just going to go through some gameplay and see how this performs. And I want to know if you guys can hear the fans go off. They're starting to run a little bit and I just started this game. But let's get into some gaming and see if brain rates drop and just how it performs. I'm using an Xbox controller to play the game too. I'm 
not seeing any frame rate drop. I'm not noticing any lag either. 200 yards. Turn sharp left. Did I miss the turn? Wow, look how beautiful this is. Graphics looks great. I don't really drive like this in real life. It's just for testing purposes. That's new. I haven't noticed any kind of frame rate drops or anything in this game has been running pretty smooth so far. No lag at all. You guys let me know if you see anything. So it looks like we made it to where we needed to be. Alright guys, so looks like the gaming, at least with this game so far, has been pretty good. So let's wrap up this review. Alright guys, so bottom line is this is a pretty good laptop. This Razer Blade 14 inch 3060 model gaming laptop is pretty good for $1,700. Um, I'd say for me it's worth the price. If you're streaming, gaming, and doing some video editing, this is gonna be just fine for you. But as you've seen with the latency tests for sound quality, that might be an area of concern if you're somebody who does a lot of audio things, maybe creates music, things of that nature, going to be chopping up music, editing music, this might be an issue. Other than that, I've really enjoyed this laptop. Uh, I haven't had any issues with this laptop so far when it comes to the gaming. The performance has been pretty good. So thanks guys for watching and liking and subscribing if you made it this far. I appreciate you guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.